Well, these boots are made for walking. The walk is just what they'll do. Hey, honey, you see something? Stella, you see a package too? Y'all see my pink socks? Let's see what we have. Wow. So, I had been looking at boots online because Tony told me that I need a new pair of boots. <clears throat> well, it just so happened, ironically, that Cow Cow uh, Company reached out to me over the weekend, and I really did not get right back to them. Um, and this was a week ago. I didn't get right back to them because, honestly, I thought it was a scam, and uh, I explained that to them, but they wanted me to try some boots and we looked at different styles of boots and there were some that were just plain black that I really liked but they were men's boots and so they um, asked me if I would try the women's boots and their farm work boots and so they have a kick plate back here so you can take them off easy this top layer here is six millimeter uh, neoprene and there is a steel shank in here for arch support. And it actually says steel shank. If, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and waterproof. So it met all the criteria of what I wanted in a boot. So now comes the big test. And that is, will this boot hold up to Catherine at G&G &G Farms? Now... If it does, it's a good boot. So right now, I'm going to put this boot on and try it on. And I'm going to wear this boot to do a hard day's work. And we'll see what my thoughts on this boot are. Number one is they sell them on Amazon. So let's just see if it's a good boot for the convenience of being able to buy it on Amazon. Well, these boots are made for farming. And farming's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots, they're gonna farm all over you. just planted most of the lazy garden and never turned the camera on so let me catch you up real quick um right here behind me i just got done planting some jambalaya okra now you know that um, i have the little greenhouse and that i buy all my seeds from house tools and this year was just amazing i got a hundred percent germination on everything so yesterday I up potted 105 more tomato plants because I had an overabundance of seeds and I still have some seeds, but I have some seeds that were given me and they came from the big box store. I don't know that I'll get 100% on them, so I'm going to try and I'll let you know 
what I come up with on that. Now, let me just kind of turn the camera around and show you what all I have done today. So I planted some tomato plants the other day and we had our last little cold snap and the leaves turned a little bit yellow on them, but they're not dead, they're thriving. They will come back really pretty. It might stunt them just a little bit, but that's okay. I've got plenty of tomato plants um, to plant in the garden. And this is jambalaya okra that I had in the greenhouse and I just went ahead and plugged them in. Now I had planted some squash way too early and cucumbers and I had planted them way too early um, before the last frost. So I just kind of had to go ahead and put them in the ground. They were blooming in the greenhouse. Now, if they don't do well, it's okay. I've got more planted behind them because that's who I am. And you can see over here, I have got to harvest some um, collard greens today because we're gonna eat tonight. Um, now, those over there are gentry squash. And then I've got some cucumbers and more squash up and down and zucchini over here you'll have to excuse my hands because i'm in the garden i am still planting and i've not done yet so yes i'm filthy i'm gonna have to have some dirty girl soap in a few minutes okay so um when i'd find a, a hole that i didn't have something to go in i just plant a tomato in there so that is a I believe that's a Halsinator tomato right there. I've got the, um, I've got the label somewhere nearby. Yeah, I think those two are Halsinators right there that I had. But um, those are some Halsinator cucumbers. And then I have got tomatoes planted here that I just planted and uh, there are some halcinators and some red snappers. Uh, let's see, that one is a red snapper. This morning, I planted some peppers. So all of these in here, and I'm going to get some baskets to put in here just to let them kind of climb up on just a little bit to keep them sturdy. But these are all halcinator bell peppers. These are all... Iberia cayenne peppers. Now, I got 100% germination on the peppers, too, and peppers normally take a long time, but I had them up within the week. And these are Halsinator, okay, these are Halsinator bell, and those are Halsinator jalapeno. That's right, because I got some big gem peppers in here, too. I saved some seeds last year. And, of course, there's some more collard greens that I'm going to save, and that one Swiss chard that's coming back from the winter and there's carrots right here peach trees and nectarine trees are looking beautiful and the blueberries down there they're loaded oh they're loaded down so i'm gonna finish up what i'm doing here right now and then i'm gonna go over while i'm filthy and work in the potage garden and get some things over there because i have a lot to put into the potage garden and I really need to get started doing that since our weather has broke and our local weatherman says he doesn't see another frost this season. He thinks this is it. Now, if we're wrong, then I'm gonna have to buy a lot of frost cloth. And what I think that I will do though, instead of putting the frost um, cover on it, I think I will buy sprinklers and just run sprinklers all night. Because last night, um, I came out here around 3 a.m. and sprinkled, just kind of misted over all the plants, and they did very well. They didn't get hurt at all. Of course, it didn't frost here either, but um, trying to get stuff done today. Bye. 
shirt and some jeans and my boots and then it's time. of the beehives and I have planted some pollinator fast blooming perennials so we're gonna feed the bees today day three still working boots are still holding up <laughs> so let's see what we can get done in the potager today And then it's time to make that morning dry. Work all day till I'm totally beat. Get back home and fall right to sleep. Along goes on, friend, the morning and the cycle's complete. Work, sleep, repeat. Yeah, work, sleep, work, sleep. That's all right. Okay. So um, I had to run and grab something to keep the sun off my face. So got my house hat. Um, so I'm gonna continue over in the protege garden. And what I'm doing right now is um, I'm putting down the ground cover in the area where it's between the rows. I don't really want the rows because I don't wanna have to plant that many plants through the fabric. So, at least I won't have to weed between the rows. I, you know, if I have to pull some small weeds out, you know, where around the plants, that's fine. But um, I just don't want the work of having to hoe between the rows. So, that's what I'm doing right now. And then, this afternoon, I'm actually going to put plants in the ground because I've got to get some in the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I've got to put up a fence around it to protect it from wildlife because I know there's bunnies out here and there's deer out here. So I need to do that also. Um, I went and dug up some peach trees and I planted one right over there um, just a few minutes ago. I had bought them when we first bought the property and put them on the back side. Well, I wasn't thinking I was kind of green in the area, but there was no way to water them. So they did not do well. They did not grow. Um, every year they died back and come back from the root as little bitty plants. And so three years later, here I am, because they made it through that drought last year without dying completely, but they died back. What used to be big trees are now little sprouts again from the root. So I went and dug them up and they had not taken root. They were still just as easy to get up as they were when I placed them in the ground three years ago. So I'm bringing them over to the potager garden so that I can irrigate them, fertilize them, and take really good care of them. And I want to see how these trees do in the next year. I want to see them flourish, not only survive, but flourish. I just need to see that because um, they're peach trees. Um, I, I just, I feel bad that they've spent the last three years back on the backside where there was no irrigation or, or a way to fertilize them without just burning them up. So we're gonna see what we can do with these peach trees. And um, yeah, I have had a good long day already. I've had a good three days. Um, boots are still holding up. Now they are filthy. I have some filthy boots, but I told you that we're going to see if these boots can hold up to Catherine's day because my days are long and my days are hard work. So, so far they feel excellent on my feet and I'm going to be honest with you. I probably should not have worn my other boots as much as I wore them because they did not have arch support in them and these do. 
so my back feels better um, my hips feel better I'm not hurting at night like I was you know everybody has a little pain sometimes in mine after a hard day I could lay in the bed and go oh <laughs> so yeah um, I think I'm really liking the boots and I would tell y'all if I didn't because that's who I am if I did not like these boots I'd say hey Cal Cal sent me some boots to try and I don't like them but I can't say that because I do like them and I think these are the boots that I'll be buying next time Alarm goes off and a quarter to five Roll out of bed and rub the sleep from my eyes Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots And then it's time to make that morning dry Work all day till I'm totally beat Get back home and fall right to sleep Alarm goes off in the morning and the cycle's complete Okay, you saw me um, pounding some T post in. Well, I've got about three more I've got to pound in. It's about to whoop me. I'm not gonna lie, it's about to whoop me. But I have started stringing the wire, and I don't know if you can see this poly wire or not. It's here. Um, so the reason for this poly wire is to keep the deer out. So. You can see that um, on the outside of the potage, I've got a few peach trees that I dug up because they weren't doing well. And then I will make a gate here. And this is temporary because we're gonna have a fenced in area. I just need something to throw up real quick to keep them out of here. Okay guys, did they hold up? Did Catherine's new boots Hold up to Catherine's day. The answer to that is yes, they did. Will I buy these boots next time? Yes, I will because they are so comfortable on my feet, y'all. I did not realize that I needed a new pair of boots until I got them. And um, yeah, with everything I've told you about them, I definitely, next time I need a pair of boots, definitely going to get these because they are so easy to get on and off they feel so good on my feet and look i've dropped stuff on my feet and it didn't hurt <laughs> i am always dropping stuff on my feet but um they're waterproof they're you know what i'm gonna go ahead and say it these boots are catherine proof <laughs> oh. so y'all for today, y'all farm on.